Dramatic surveillance video shows the moment a car speeds into a bicyclist in the West Loop, leaving him in critical condition. And it is not the first accident on this stretch of road. Now, some community leaders are pushing for infrastructure changes that they say could keep pedestrians and bicyclists safe. Our Jackie Kostick is live at Madison and Peoria with those details. Jackie. Yeah, Dana, I spoke to several community leaders who say that this stretch of Madison is the West Loop's main street, and they say they see the issues, the cars speeding and blowing through stop signs. They say that this crash only serves to prove that they need changes sooner rather than later. Surveillance video shows a 43-year-old man biking west on Madison just after 10 p.m. Saturday night. Police say 30-year-old Courtney Bertucci of Joliet was driving east when she swerved into the westbound lanes. We're not showing the moment the car hit the bicyclist, launching him into the air and leaving him in critical condition. Police say the woman drove off and somehow ended up several blocks away on Monroe and Aberdeen. You can see the bike appears to have stayed with the car. This crashed the latest on Madison Street, which last November saw a drunk driver ram through the wall of a fitness studio. It's been dramatic in terms of the uh, both the the volume of traffic as well as the speed. Moshe Tamzad has lived in the West Loop for 18 years and runs the True West Loop Facebook group. He says he noticed a change after the median planters were removed back in 2019. That's turned Madison from a four lane street into a five lane street, which increases speed as well as throughput, which increases the safety hazard to pedestrians and cyclists. And I see what everybody else is seeing. Armando Chacon has led the West Central Association for a decade. As someone who also lives and works in the neighborhood, he says he sees drivers speeding and blowing stop signs. We need to slow traffic down on Madison Street, period. Chacon says the association is trying to do just that, successfully advocating for a stop sign to be added at Troop Street and currently pushing for another on Laughlin. Making Madison more pedestrian friendly, he says, could include raised intersections, bump outs, and flashing stop signs. Every serious crash serving as a reminder of how change needs to happen, he says, and fast. The 30-year-old driver was charged with a felony for possession of a controlled substance, but police did not say whether she was under the influence last night. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. All right, Jackie, thank you.